Even though I spent most of my climbing career climbing in the overhangs, I still have a special relationship to climbing in the slab. And in Arco, you have lots of slabs to offer. From straightforward pulling on a tiny razor blades to more complex slab climbing where pulling on tiny holds is not the crux of the route. This slab in Bus de la Stria, Puli Vapor Sector, is just incredible. I haven't climbed there before and I could see this obvious long-standing project, Diretta Italo de la Spagnola, that was freed halfway up at 8A+, but the extension was still waiting to be climbed. The route was kind of dirty. First, I need to clean it, try the moves, and then, in the end of the day, uh, just after having climbed Bombardino, I give it a try. The very beginning is quite easy. I would say the first 15, maybe 20 meters is maximum 7B. Still, just incredible climbing on some really nice features. But what is kind of the epitome of climbing here in this sector is that sometimes you have a decent foothold, but they are in the position where you absolutely don't want to have them. And other than those few footholds, there is pretty much nothing. And on the top of that, the rock itself doesn't really have much of a friction. It's definitely very different to most of the other slab and face climbing around Arco where it's quite a lot about standing and pulling on these so-called raindrops, uh, usually pretty sharp and holds with a good friction. So this is the place up to here, it's about 7B, and from here on the serious climbing starts. This section is pretty special because it's all about pulling on very slopey two-finger, three-finger pockets. And what makes it even special is that you don't only have to hold them, but you have to step on them. So you kind of never feel safe enough because if you're standing in a slopey pocket, you never really dig your toe deep inside the pocket. So it's always a little bit precarious. And every single moment when you are up on the wall, you feel like you can slip. And this kind of feeling of insecurity makes the whole climbing also quite physical, considering then you are in five degree slab. This, I would say, is the crux of the first pitch, 8A+. You get into this underclink. This is the chain of the first pitch. It's pretty good rest, but you can't really stay for too long because um, it's also quite difficult for your feet. And for the crux right above, you definitely need some power in your feet as well. Here we go into the absolute crux of the whole route really strange, funky climbing. First, you get this underclean, get it as a thump, get your feet higher, and then you get this left hand underclean, put your right foot really high, and have just have to pull as hard as possible with the right side pull to gain this amazing jug. It's kind of really improbable move when you're like setting into the position, you feel like everything is like against and this is not going to work, but um, yeah, somehow it works. And here I'm past the crux and in the final head wall, which is, I think I would say around 7B, but surely the most beautiful, the most amazing part of the whole route. I really like the routes that have some kind of section to kind of finish it off, which is not too easy, but not too hard at the same time, where you can really enjoy climbing to the very fullest. You kind of know that you're probably not going to fall, yet you still have to focus. 
This final head wall is really nice because again it's not about pulling onto the small holds but it's about climbing, laybacking on this kind of weird kind of crack or dihedral. You have to jam your feet sometimes inside the crack. There's a little bit sketchy move just pulling on this tiny undercling and getting a little bit higher with your body. And then some little bit insecure moves on these underclings, really slopey feet. I was actually planning on skipping this bolt, but then I changed my mind <laughs> as I didn't really feel that safe. Last move, grabbing this left hand crimp and jumping into the final rail. So I think this is the first ascent of the second pitch of Diretta Italo Spagnola. I think it could be A B plus.